today we'll see how to compare non-equivalent fractions. Add and subtract, multiply and divide. We use math in everyday life. Why do we need to know this? <laughs> Hi, April. Hi, Marcos. <laughs> Why are you two so out of breath? Hey, Adesina. We're training for a race. How far did you run today? I ran three-fifths of a mile. And I ran five-sixths of a mile. I ran farther than you did. No way. I ran farther. Did you know that there's a math strategy that can help you compare those fractions? Really? We're just trying to figure out who went the farthest. Well, the strategy that I'll show you can help you do that. Let's explore. Here in front of us are two cakes. Before we dive in, let's briefly review what we already know about fractions. I remember that a fraction is a number that represents part of a whole. For example, one fourth. The top number is called the numerator. It tells us how many parts we have. And the bottom number in the fraction is called the denominator. It tells us how many parts are in the whole. Excellent. Each of these cakes have been cut into eight pieces. Which means we can represent each piece as a fraction one eighth, since each part represents one out of the eight pieces. That's right. Now you can dig in. Great. So how would you represent the amount you have left as a fraction. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all math topics, grades K through eight, and you get to watch it in class, but only if you tell your teacher.